phrase active shooter and they said, everybody get out of the store. A man the manager started yelling, everybody get out of the store. Right now at six, late breaking news. We now know the name of the man police say shot and killed two people inside a busy J-Town Kroger store. And we're live with a look at what else we're learning about that shooting spree and when the suspect will face a judge. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Bayless. And I'm Stefan Dingle. Take a look. This is 51 year old Gregory Allen Bush. Police say he was booked into jail early this morning. Let's get right to our end boat and she's live from the J-Town Kroger where that shooting happened and what more are we learning about the suspect. So three is your time now, Matt, turning to the weather now. More clouds are moving into the area today. Yep. That must mean cooler weather. The clouds are going to filter out some sunshine. Yeah, that is going to keep us cool, and it's eventually going to lead to some rain chances, but it looks like those better rain chances hold on until after the work and school Good day. News. So, Good news. Yeah, dry through much of the afternoon, but that changes up, though, as we head to Matt. Thanks. Packed with shards of glass and ready to explode. That's how FBI investigators are describing seven pipe bombs that were sent to high-profile political figures across the country. Our Matt Pritchard is in Washington and Matt, what more do we know this morning? Still ahead, the number of migrants marching north to the U.S. is growing this morning. Why President Trump says he won't make it easy for them. That's just ahead. Plus, why the president's daughter Ivanka is coming to Kentucky and what's on her agenda next when WOKY News continues. Adidas says it will keep working with the NCAA to improve the environment around college basketball. This comes as an executive and two other recruiting insiders were found guilty of fraud in a federal corruption case. The government accused the recruiters of funneling tens of thousands of dollars of secret payments to families of prospects, including former UofL recruit Brian Bowen Jr. A jury agreed the defendants committed fraud as well as violated NCAA rules. The case led to the firing of coach Rick Patino, who has not been charged with any crime. Welcome back. No one won the big Powerball jackpot last night, but just into our newsroom, we have learned that someone in Crestwood matched all five of the white ball numbers, winning $1 million.